The 2019 Ford Explorer. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to go over the standard and optional equipment on that base trim of the 2019 Ford Explorer. So it's going to be a very thorough video, as you'd expect. Uh, I'm going to have timestamps if you're watching this on YouTube with all the standard equipment, different spots on the uh, in that going around the vehicle as well as inside, and then also timestamps for the different optional equipment uh, part of this, and then we'll even have prices as well down there. So definitely check this out if you're watching it on YouTube. Uh, it can be very important information for you. A lot of people like to use these videos to save it for information as they're researching or maybe wanting to get a, a, another Explorer uh, for that reason. So I think you'll really find this uh, video very valuable for you. So definitely save it to this playlist. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the safety first. We'll dive right in with it and talk about the safety precautions. Now, this, is, this is your base model. This is where the Explorer starts off. So everything I'm talking about is going to be standard equipment on every Explorer from here on up. So first thing I want to talk about is going to be the uh, dual stage airbag. So dual stage means a different size airbag is going to deploy there in the front for the driver and front passenger depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. The, uh, you'll get a knee airbag as well on the passenger side. It's going to deploy under there, that glove box under there. And then you're going to have, of course, don't forget your seat belts and everything, but you're going to have a side impact airbag as well on these, uh, the front seats. Uh, for those side collisions, as well as you're going to have safety canopy airbags going to come down and protect all occupants on the on the side uh, for any kind of rollover. And it will have advanced track with roll stability control and rollover sensors as well. So advanced track, uh, main goal of that is to help you keep you on your intended path on the slick driving roads, maybe going to those curves a little bit too fast. It's also going to have curve control to help with that. So real nice safety precautions there. Now, if you happen to be in an accident and you're off the road, it does have SOS post crash alert system. It's going to honk the horns and flash the lights if you happen to be on in an accident. And then it's going to get 911 assist as well. It's going to allow you to Bluetooth your phone to the vehicle, being able to allow you to call 911 directly uh, instead of having to call OnStar or something like that. Uh, some other precautions here for those in the, in the back seat, you're going to have the child safety locks that allow those, uh, those doors to lock out so those in the, uh, those seats cannot open those up. If you have those uh, infants or those toddlers, maybe with those hands, want to grab that and open that up, you don't have to worry about it. You can lock those out. And you're going to have the latch system that lower anchors and tethers uh, for children that allows you to be able to securely uh, uh, post, put those seats down in those back seats back there uh, securing those in. So uh, some great safety precautions. We'll get in and talk to some others as we move around to the front of the vehicle. Now all your base model explorers are going to come standard and front wheel drive, but you can get optional all wheel drive. And if you do go with all wheel drive, it's going to come with the intelligent four wheel drive system with terrain management. So what's great about the terrain management system is it does have that the little dial there right in front of the glove box or the console I should say where you can go ahead and just uh, uh, turn that dial to the road conditions, whether it be gravel, snow, uh, rut, whatever it might be. And so that way it's going to go ahead and shift the intelligent four-wheel drive into the four high, four low, whatever it needs. So you don't need to try to figure out, should I be in four low? Should I be in four high? You just shift it to the uh, terrain uh, that you have, and it's going to go ahead and, and control that for you. So a uh, real nice system. You only see that terrain management system on two other vehicles, the Ranger and your uh, Raptor. Uh, to start with, we're start seeing it also be uh, moved over into Expedition and such. So it was one of the Explorer is one of the first vehicles to have that. Now the standard engine is going to be a 3.5 liter V6 engine. A little bit different than uh, past years where the standard engine was a 2.3. Now it's a 3.5 liter V6 engine. It is going to come uh, powered with 290 horsepower, 355 pound-feet of torque. So pretty good amount of power there. Let's talk about fuel economy for uh, your that base engine. All your front wheel drives are going to have about uh, 19 miles per gallon or 17 miles per gallon in the city and about 24 miles per gallon on the highway. And then for your four wheel drives, it's going to be about 16 miles per gallon in the city and about 22 miles per gallon on the highway. So that's about what you can expect with that. But you can get the optional 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine and that engine is going to deliver 280 horsepower, 310 pound-feet of torque. So a lot more power behind that engine uh, and again that was the standard engine in, in previous model year and now they've shifted it around so that's the optional engine. Now let's talk about fuel economy on that engine. It's going to get 19 miles per gallon in the city, 27 miles per gallon on the highway for your front-wheel drive models and then your four-wheel drive are going to be a little bit less than that. You're 18 in the city and then about 25 miles per gallon on the highway. So that's about how the breakdown is for that. Both of those engines are going to be powered with a six-speed automatic transmission with select shift. And the select shift means that if you have it in that sport mode or the S shift mode, then you can use that, the, uh, sh the 
plus and minus on the side of the shifter knob there and shift it up and down like a manual transmission. So sometimes it also comes in handy when you're on that uh, rough terrain, you may be on, in the mountains and you're coming down uh, real easily, then you want to have that. And uh, something I forgot about is you're going to get hill descent control with your four-wheel drive system as well. So that's something to be able to help you if you're coming down any kind of major incline down a mountain or uh, some of those uh, places over in Colorado and all that, that'll come in real handy for you. So. Now let's talk about more on the styling here. Uh, here on the front, you do have uh, this, uh, they call it dark foundry gray mesh grill in here with a chrome bar. So I love that it's gonna be chrome even on this base model here. Body colored bumpers throughout up here on the upper part. The lower part is gonna be the molded in black down here. Uh, typical of what you've seen in past years and your black skid plate up there as well. And then you do have your, uh, that air dam under there as well. And then you're gonna see molded in over here where the upper models are, you're gonna see uh, those fog lights, uh, that's going to be molded in black in here for these. Now talk about the headlights. They are automatic headlights, so they'll come on automatically as it gets dark if you have an auto setting and, and turn off when it gets light out. But they're going to be LED for your low beam. So LEDs uh, for an Explorer uh, for the low beam, you're going to have halogen for your high beam though. And you do have the configurable daytime running lights as well. So you can have those on and if, if you do have those on, it'll be the LED low beams that'll be configured to be on during the daytime. So it looks real sharp uh, on the front of it. And of course, we'll get into the uh, tail lights here in just a little bit. So also you're gonna be wiper activated for those headlights, which means when those wipers turn on, they're gonna, the headlights will come on automatically as well. Now as we move around to the side, the standard wheel is gonna be an 18 inch sparkle silver painted aluminum wheel. And I love the 18 inch is the standard wheel size on all of your, your uh, base model vehicles. Uh, explorers, I should say, including uh, your, they're going to be the same on your front wheel drive as your all wheel drive as well. The mirror is a molded in black mirror cap, does have power heated glass as well, and it has an integrated blind spot mirror, and that's an angled mirror so you can see the vehicles in your blind spot a little bit better. Molded in black door handles as well as the roof rack rails up here are going to be standard equipment. They're going to be molded in black as well. And you're going to see that on the lower body cladding up down here too. Even this little uh, strip there in the middle, as we go up in different models, you're going to see that change from that molded in black to chrome, uh, even ma magnetic. It depends on different packages. So uh, that's what that, that's going to look like there on the side of it. Now this does have your keyless entry, so you can use the remote, keyless remote, to unlock and lock the vehicle. Even has a, a little alarm that'll go off if you need to try to find your vehicle. And and it does have the flip key. So I'll try to give you an image exactly what that looks like uh, if I remember there uh, so that we have a good idea of, of how that works there. Now these uh, windows up here, talk about them for a second. These front windows are going to be laminated uh, glass here and that just kind of tries to keep it a little bit cooler for those on in the front seat especially from wind noise and such. I didn't see in the order guide that it had it on the front. Typically they do. Uh, most of the explorers in the past do so I, I believe it is but it's not in the order guide so just uh, keep that in mind as we talk, kind of talk about this. Privacy glass here in these back windows, these quarter windows, as well as the back glass. Keeps it cooler for those in the second, third row seat. Also looks real nice in the vehicle too. Now as we move here to the back, you're gonna see a body colored rear spoiler up here. Also rear defrost with a rear wiper, so it's gonna help keep that uh, back glass free of any kind of clutter and such so you can be able to see out the back. Nice chrome accent here across the back of it. That's gonna be even standard on your base models. LED tail lights as well here in the back. So LEDs on the front and the back, they're brighter, they'll last longer. So real nice having those even on your base model explorers. Rear view camera back here is standard equipment and it is gonna include a washer now for 2019. So you'll clean that off. And so that way as you're backing up, you're gonna be able to see behind you, which is a real nice safety feature. Uh, body colored bumpers back here. You will get molded in black under here with the uh, reflector lights under there and molded in black on the top of the bumper as well. So protect that from dropping anything as you're putting it inside there. Let's go ahead now and, and pop this open. It does unlock with the remote. So you can do that, or you can even press the button under here. Now it is not, you have to manually uh, lift up the uh, tailgate, but it lifts up real easily for you here. In the back, uh, a couple things to talk about here about in the back of the Explorer. Now all the Explorers are, do have a rear independent suspension, which means you're gonna have a great ride because of that independent suspension, but also gives you flexibility of having uh, a lot more storage room down in here and actually usable third row seats as well. So. You'll see the deep wells we look inside there where you can store things up underneath those seats as well and it kind of, a, it kind of goes down a little bit here. So that comes in real handy for you. Also allows you to be able to fold these seats 
flatten to the floor completely. So let me demonstrate how that works with this. Now they are a manual fold, 50-50 uh, split bench seats. You'll have to do one and then the other, but all the instructions are on the back of the seat, real easy to follow. They're even color coded the straps for you. So the red strap is going to control your backrest. So you just pull that red strap and then you just push that backrest down against the seat cushion and it locks into place. Then you uh, hold this strap and you pull the number two, which is the black one, and then pull that strap towards you and it's gonna go ahead and lay down and fold down and lock into place in there uh, so that way it can't move and as you can see flat load level in there for that seat put it back in position you'll just pull that uh, latch um, right there that unlocks it you just push that forward and it's, that seat cushion is going to lock into place just like it sounds now you just pull the uh, one which is the red one and it's going to release that seat or the seat back but from the seat cushion so then you can put it back in position now the headrests do come up and they lock into place uh, to lay those down if they're not already down you're going to pull the strap and it's going to release it and lay it down against there. So that's how that works. And there's even Velcro here. So if you want to put that strap against there, you can do that. And again, instructions are back there. Real easy to follow and, and to use. Real easy to know that the one will control the seat back, unlocking it, and the two, the seat cushion. So you could even do something like this with it. If you want to do some tailgating or something like that, uh, you're able to do that and then it'll lock back into place there. So real nice uh, usable area back here. You do have cargo netting in this. You'll see some spots here on both sides put the cargo netting across there and that way you can put those smaller items in they won't roll around underneath those seats bothering uh, you if they're rolling around under there so it just makes it a little bit handier for you and then uh, I think we have the cargo netting it's in here somewhere probably in the glove box uh, but usually we keep it in here so that's going to come standard with all your explorers as well now let's move to the interior here and in here you're going to have one color interior and that's available for you and that's that medium light stone interior so like what you're seeing here so let me give you a clip across the dash you're going to see what that looks like you're going to have your black on the upper part of that dash and you're going to have that galvano trim that goes across it divides that from your medium light stone below that uh, for your doors as well as uh, your glove box above your glove box there uh, your center stack is going to be black as well with some nice high gloss finish on the outside of those as well as your center console and then in your doors, you're going to have a cloth trim in there above your armrest, uh, black armrest. And then you're going to have your cloth seats as well in here. They're about the same material that you have on the door insert. So uh, real nice cloth seating services throughout here, only available. Uh, you can only get cloth seats on your base models, whatever is going there. For your seats, your front bucket seats up here with the center console. The driver does have an eight-way power adjustable seat, including power lumbar manual backrest so you have that lever over there on the side that allows you to be able to adjust that backrest the front passenger seat over here is going to be having a little lever on the front of the seat and we can go forward and back with it and a manual adjustment for your backrest second row seating back there seats three back there 60 40 split bench seat as a standard for you uh, you can get to the back seat from e either one of those sides by using the levers on the side of those seats and the 40 percent side has a lever on it like the front passenger seat does where you can side that seat forward and back as well so if you have that longer person uh, with longer legs you're going to want to put them on that 40 percent side back there and then the back seat 50 50 split bench seat seating two back there uh, and you can you can fold those seats flat into the floor like we talked about and then uh, it gives you seating uh, positions for seven uh, different people here in the vehicle. And then behind the console, you're going to see a power point back here as well as controls for the rear climate. So you do have auxiliary climate controls back there behind the console. Here on the door, power windows, locks, mirror switches, including auto one touch for those front windows. Uh, the steering wheel does have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So just pull this lever underneath. It'll go up and down, forward and back, so you can get it just right, especially with the power driver's seat as well. Uh, you're going to see controls here on the steering wheel. The ones here on the left, the D-pad at the top, is going to control your 4.2-inch productivity screen between your, speed, your speedometer and your tack there. Control your display there, your um, the different things there. Compass is going to be on there as well. And then below that, you're going to see the cruise control. So this does come standard equipment with cruise control for you. On the right side of the steering wheel, the D-pad up there is going to control your audio controls for your radio and such, so you don't have to take your hands off the steering wheel. Below that, you're going to see your Bluetooth controls. You can make and receive phone calls, you can mute your audio, and you can have other voice commands by pressing that up there uh, and, and giving it some different commands for your audio controls as well. Now let's talk about the center stack here. It does have a, uh, a single zone climate control for those here in the front. So uh, with the driver and front passenger have the same climate there, and you do have your rear climate controls there where you can actually lock out the climate uh, for, so that the kids are trying to control it back there and they're arguing over the different temperatures. So you can just uh, press that lock there and it's going to lock it out. So you have two different zones there, the front as well as those in the second and third row seats. 
for your audio controls. AM, FM uh, does have MP3 capabilities as well. Six speaker audio sound system. No CD player is standard equipment here for you. And then you're going to have a 4.2 inch screen where you can control your, you can see your audio and your phone settings and everything. But also when you put that vehicle in reverse, that's where you're going to see your backup camera for you uh, come into view there in that, that 4.2 inch screen in the middle of the dash. And then up here on the mirror, you do have a day-night mirror. That means if those cars want to come up behind you with those bright lights, you just flip it down, uh, and then it's going to go ahead and make it a little bit easier to see, uh, and that way those lights don't blind you. On the overhead console, you are going to have not only the switches for your lights, but you can also have a sunglass holder. So you can flip that down, put sunglasses in there too, you can store them in there. Let me find, tell you another place you can store those sunglasses and other uh, small items is in this media hub is what we call it. So that little sync button right there, you just press it. It's going to open it up. You can see you can have a little compartment to put some things down there. And it's going to have our PowerPoint down there as well and a USB port. So you can be able to plug in a devices two different ways there. And if you use a USB port, you can actually play your audio through this. And that's why you're see not seeing CD players as uh, commonly on these vehicles anymore. Is because you have a lot of music on the phone or even using, you know, different, uh, different uh, streaming audio systems on your phone. You can just be able to play those right through your system by plugging it in. There's even a spot over here on the side where those cords can come out as well there. And then your uh, 4x4, the, the train management system is right here. Uh, as I, I kind of showed you a clip of it earlier, but that is where that's located right there. And then your shifter knob is going to be leather wrapped as well. If you put in that S mode, there's the switches there are going to be on the side over here, right where your thumb would be. Yeah, easy to be able to shift it up and down right there. Let's talk about the console. Let's open this up. So you can see in here, uh, I have a pretty good compartment in here, but also you do have another PowerPoint in there. So you can power different devices and uh, two slots for cords to come through. So if you want to power those devices up, uh, you can do that. If it's a driver front passenger, you have a, a spot on either side of that latch system right there. And then we did talk about several different PowerPoints, but there are four in the vehicle. Just to clarify, one in the media hub, one in the, in the, in the center console, one behind the console, and then one behind the third row seat back there. If you want to power those devices, they should be able to long enough cord that they can plug it in. If those in the third row want to be able to power devices, uh, they'll be able to have access to that as well. So uh, real nice equipment. Uh, carpeted flooring uh, throughout is going to be black, as well as your headliner will be black too. Carpeted mats are also going to be standard equipment. They're going to be in the footwell, not only in the front seats, but also uh, footwells in the second row seat as well. And then your door seal plates are going to be that molded in black and the front doors will have the Explorer wording in them as well. Now we're gonna talk about a couple packages and standalone options that are available from the factory. Uh, first one to talk about is your class two trailer tow package. Now that does require to have four wheel drive and the 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine. And I'm gonna go ahead and post up on the screen exactly what the uh, different towing uh, capabilities or capacity is for each of one of these. You have that one. You also have the one that's available with a 3.5 liter engine. And that's the class three trailer tow package. Does also require to have four wheel drive in that 3.5 V6 engine. So very a uh, couple different ways to go if you're wanting to tow something a little bit small with this Explorer. Also in here, you can get a couple different other things here on the inside. Uh, one of them is going to be the Sirius XM satellite radio. So you can upgrade uh, to that as well. It's going to come with a six month prepaid subscription. And then after that, you'll have to come up with your own subscription. Sign up for those. Uh, they are pretty inexpensive through Sirius XM satellite radio. Also, you're going to get rear inflatable seat belts is another optional equipment you can get. And it's going to be rear inflatable seat belts on those two outside seats. Uh, it deploys those airbags on those seat belts for those uh, smaller kids there on those outside seats there. Also, you can get engine block heater. We don't see that a lot of times, but engine block heater comes in handy, especially if you're in one of those northern states where it's cold a lot. Uh, times of the year, you want to be able to make sure that vehicle starts up. The engine block heater is another great option for you to add to your vehicle. Now we're going to talk about some accessories that can be ordered from the factory if you want to. If so, they will be shipped ahead to the dealership. The dealership will install them, or you can even get them after you get your vehicle if you'd like to as well. They can be ordered through parts, uh, Ford accessories, and service departments can put them on for you. Uh, three on the outside, three on the inside. It's a way I, easy for me to remember. Um, first thing I want to talk about is your splash guards. Splash guards are really great. They're going to go behind those wheels, uh, the front as well as the back, to kind of protect them, especially if you live on a lot of dirt roads, or maybe you have a lot of snow and everything. That's a great way to kind of protect the side of the vehicle if you like to get splash guards. Running boards will help those smaller kids get in the vehicle so you can get black running boards uh, on the vehicle too. It's going to go on the side again allow those to get assisted into the vehicle a little bit easier especially if you have those uh, actually four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive are about the same size uh, but just helps those kids get in and out of the vehicle a little bit. Crossbars as well. So you have the refract rails or standard equipment, but if you want the crossbars to help you with luggage, those are going to be able to be available as uh, accessories that you can add to the vehicle as well. 
on the inside you can get floor liners it's going to come with carpeted mats but if you maybe you know you're going to get those dirty a lot in winter time especially slide those in there you're going to get those as well and so those floor liners will protect the foot wells in the front as well as the back they're kind of those all-weather tray like mats uh, for you back there and then a couple ways to protect the cargo area. One of those is a cargo cover. So you can, it's a, a retractable cover that you pull across. Uh, that way you can, people can't see what kind of belongings you might have back there, especially if there are things and you're transporting, you can pull that cover back there that they can't see back there. It's also removable. So you don't have to always keep it in the vehicle. It can come out, uh, put it in the garage or something. A lot of times we'll do that in our vehicles. Uh, and then you can put it in when you need it. Also, you can get a cargo mat back there. Cargo mat usually is going to be done when you have the third row seat folded down and it's going to protect the cargo back there. It's kind of an all weather mat that you can have back there and protect it. And uh, especially if you have a lot of different items you transport a lot, that might be something you want to add as well. Let's talk about warranties for a second. Ford's warranty is a three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty with a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty and roadside assistance. So that's all your standard as well as optional equipment for your 2019. Ford Explorer base model trim. Uh, don't forget, you can check out any of our inventory on our website at lawmacarthur.com. There in each one of our vehicles, you can check for availability, schedule a test drive, you can see pictures, as well as you can pull up these window stickers as well. It goes over the standards as well as optional equipment on each one of those vehicles. There's a link right under all, our photos, but all Ford dealerships should have uh, access to that factory window sticker. And on our website as well, you can have a VR experience. On each one of our vehicles, we picture every single one of them up and do what we call a VR experience. It's an inside as well as an outside perspective on each one of our vehicles that are in stock. So definitely check that out if you want to see what those look like uh, from that perspective so that I think you really like that and don't forget about checking out a great internet price there on our website too so again hopefully you uh, got a lot out of this if you have any questions at all you can call or send us a text message at 785-378-5031 or you can call us toll free 1-800-874-6316 so hope you enjoyed this video on the base trim of the 2019 Ford Explorer we have a special offer for our YouTube viewers, and that's going to be free shipping of any one of our vehicles to your door if you live within the 48 states outside of Alaska and Hawaii, and you finance a vehicle with us. And we're very transparent about that. The reason we ask you to finance it with us is because the lender can pay for, they, they send us a kickback for every finance deal, and that pays for some of the shipping costs, but it doesn't get incurred onto you. So it's a great way for you to buy from a dealership that you know knows a product and is going to make sure you get the right vehicle uh, to you and get a great internet price as well. So you still get the great internet price we have on our website uh, which a lot of times is invoice minus rebate and get the vehicle shipped right to your door so you don't have to worry about going into a dealership anymore I know a lot of people don't like that process so you can get everything done right here and we actually are now have one of the first dealerships that are able to do all the contracts via online as well so that way you can have a secure document and you don't even have to wait for that to be FedEx to you so great way to buy a vehicle nowadays definitely reach out to us you can call or send us a text message at 785-378-5031 if this is a, also, don't forget, uh, leave any comments you might have down below in the comments. I like to read those, I respond to those, I get a lot of feedback from those and can update my the uh, videos uh, and do a better job with my videos based on some of the comments that I've gotten in the past. So definitely reach out to me. Uh, you can also contact me on social media. I'm at Tim Bartz on Facebook or Twitter. I uh, love, I have a passion for the Ford and Lincoln lineup. So uh, don't forget, uh, reach out to me if you have any questions whatsoever. Even if you bought the vehicle somewhere else, I'll still respond to you and, and give you that, that information if you're needing that there too. So, so definitely do that and if it's the first time watching our videos and you really like this video smash that like button and let other people know it's a great video they need to watch uh, if there's something on this video you didn't know hit that like button as well and that way I, I know that you got some, something out of this video and really appreciate it as well so definitely uh, do that if you haven't subscribed to our channel hit the red subscribe button in the corner or you can hit the logo at the end of this video and that way you can subscribe if you hit that notification bell you also get notified every time we have a new video uploaded to our channel also going to see two recommended videos or playlists I should say one of them is going to be the Ford uh, 2019 Ford lineup uh, playlist as well as the 2019 product uh, videos as well so it has a whole list of all of our videos we do this on every single one of our videos so check that out as well until the next video we'll see you later